Miriam Paris says jobs and education will be her top priorities when it, if she gets elected and goes back to Atlanta in January. Here's part two of Ashley Minnelli's interview with the Senate District 26 candidate. What unfinished business do you feel like you left up there that you really want to dig your teeth into if you get elected again? Well, I think education is really a big one for me. Um, I think that our children are suffering. I think that, you know, we've got teachers that are on the front line that are doing a tremendous job with what they have to work with as far as, um, you know, school supplies and schools and, you know, the administration and everything. But I think our curriculum is, is somewhat uh, faulty. And that's what's making it where teachers can't really do the job that they love to do, which is educate. You know, they, they want to be bringing these, this group up. I, I don't know anybody that would, would do it if they didn't really love it, didn't have a passion for it. So I think um, looking at the curriculum and giving it some type of uh, overhaul or some type of assistance, I certainly would need the teachers to um, confer with as to what suggestions they would have to make it better. How do you feel about the Common Core? Do you think it's something Georgia needs to keep in place or get rid of? Well, Common Core certainly has its problems um, and maybe it is that we can just build off of what's good about it and then, you know, look at what's wrong with it and, and just try to you know, get those things out of it. We saw consolidation happen when you were in office um, last time. Going forward, is there another big need that you feel like this county well, has? Well, it, everywhere is jobs. You know, people need jobs so that they can provide the type of living, quality of life for their family so that they're not working three and four jobs just to make ends meet, leaving the kids at home by themselves, you know, to kind of fend for themselves, you know, if, the, if you can't pay the bills, then you won't have a house to live in. So jobs is a big thing. We've got to get ourselves in a position where we're attractive to industry, uh, attractive to companies that are looking to um, land somewhere and start to promote ourselves and um, as well as uh, market ourselves to the rest of the state and the rest of the country. Any specific ideas that you'd like to bring to the table for marketing or making the area more attractive? Well, I think one of the things consolidation has done for us, um, and that, that was very key with consolidation, I know that when companies are looking at areas to go to, first thing they do is look at location. When they look at Macon, we've got everything. As everybody has always said, you know, we've got land, we've got rail, we've got water, we've got interstates coming, you know, going east, west, north, and south. Um, but the next thing they do is they Google your local and state politics. And when they looked at how badly our politicians behaved, uh, you know, amongst themselves and with the administration, they would pass us by. There was one time when I was on council, uh, a company was looking at making a Bibb County to come and put their business in, and we got bypassed uh, for Cordell. Cordell got 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 the jobs. Now, when a city that is that small is eating your lunch, you got a problem, and you got to fix it. And so, I think consolidation was a big piece of that.